Hi there, Callum here. Just to say that I forgot to, you know, record the video part before all this. So you can just look at this little map that I've got there. Enjoy. Who remembers what we did last week? Me. Me. If you've forgotten, there's a handy documentary on YouTube about it. <laughs> a documentary. Very handy documentary. But yes, no, that wasn't just that wasn't just me like asking for like a tally of who actually remembers what happened. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to discuss what happened last time? Not me. Dig dog, what happened? What did we do last time? As I recall, we went through a portal, ended up in a room, fought some goblins, and then someone got stuck in the middle of a ring for devil purposes and such. And he sort of anchored on me, and I dragged him out. As I recall. Okay, I think Sorry. I think your chronology is about out, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Beans. Uh, what else did we do? Yep. What do you recall? Um, I recall. Nothing. Some goblins dying in a place that I couldn't see. There being a body um, in a, a grave. No, in a grave in a coffin. And a circle of various different um, cultures, symbols being like etched into the floor. It wasn't one cohesive thing. Hail Hydra. <laughs> Hail, Hydra. Hydra. Hail Hydra. I remember that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the brooch with a um, a dragon eating it. I remember a super strong tiny dude. There was a super strong he's, tiny dude. He's not a dwarf, but he's not, he's a, not a dwarf. Uh, he is. He is human. There we go. I've de I decided two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so he's tiny, but he's. Human. He's a very small human. He's not tiny, tiny. But very strong. His token's just tiny. <laughs> As we uh, we experimented with on, on another day. Anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Mangus, got any re re yes. any recollections of the the previous escapade? <laughs> I had a panic attack and I vomited everywhere. And you made a friend. You made a friend. Oh uh, yeah, yes, yes, friends, friends galore. <laughs> <laughs> We're all friends here. <laughs> Hail Hydra. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, you in? Um, so, Orvex, Stonebreaker, was um, happily in a camp, cooking someone over a fire, noticed uh, a town somewhere nearby. Are we all Went sitting comfortably? Uh, <laughs> some massive black wall just started approaching and engulfing everything, so right. Orvex ran the fuck away, really fucking fast. Um, there was a waterfall mirror thing that he got, like stepped through. Ended up outside a tavern, which was tilting on its side. Met um, some bold woman and another dude. And then somehow went through another portal. I can't remember how that happened. Ended up in a little tomb. Had a look around. There was a dude in a coffin. Walked into a circle. Got trapped in the circle. Got helped out of the circle. Had a look through all the doors. Noticed a bunch of goblins. Ran at them, smashed up a room, but completely missed all the goblins, whilst some dude with a spear like killed them all. And then went to have a look at another door and found a little strong dude. Uh, tried to take his little flag in the mail, took it off and drank it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. You've got anything to Me. add, Ryan? Yep, just this gif. That's what I recall. Why will you not load for me? There we go. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, <fair. Indeed. laughs> uh, No, it was not. It was taken from me. Yeah, I remember waiting on a contact uh, who <laughs> was wear a brooch so we knew what they looked like, etc. Because we have a plain box made of some kind of wood that matched the wood from the dagger from the body. It yes. also had an L and an H carved into it. <laughs> I recall that. I so think it was... It. No, it's just literally what I remember. I, <laughs> because I thought about jamming the box in the, the corpse's mouth to see if it would wake up. And I didn't because I didn't want to fight it. And then... Uh, <laughs> seven health thoughts, guys. Seven health thoughts. And um, 
yeah, what else happened? I feel like Beans, was it your character that took notes of the symbology? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, I think I drew it. Um, yeah, like I remember that much, like you drew stuff. I can recall that much. Um, yep, a Dig Dog Leo helped Ovik out of the circle in a very manly fashion. It was very arousing. Yeah, and there was then very little had... penetration, I can assure you. Yeah. Oops. And then, Someone's uh, left yeah. in disgust. That was Callum. Sorry, that was, was me. Clearly too aroused <laughs> for the conversation. <laughs> and then, um, like, I believe then it was Goblin Town. Um, and then it was Guy with Tankard that Ovec clearly wanted. I also noticed on Ovec's Warhammer I, the same symbol seemed to be like, uh, yeah. burned into it. Um, nice. However, I think I only told. I told Charles. No, told, no, uh, no. I told. I was trying to mean Bean's character's name because Emu. I, Emu. Of course, it's <laughs> Emu. Um, I told Emu because I, I feel like me and Emu are probably the closest out of the whole group in terms of a. Uh, Till this. Passed that save together. <laughs> Yeah, we did. We bought. Hey, we've held hands a lot. Come on. Yeah, I'm working on you. Yeah, <laughs> you're a work in progress. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I feel like just out of the, the the group I actually did know, I feel like I've probably got the closest connection to Emu. I, so I told Emu about the the burnt in symbol on the Warhammer, and I think that's all I really remember. I think that covers just about everything. Fine. And I never missed a single shot, no matter what anyone else says. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You definitely you. Um, made mm -hmm. some goblins easier for other people. That's what it was. You you, you loosened the jar. You That's know. what I like to do. Make people loosen <laughs> easy. Brilliant. And we all got like 10,000 gold as well. Yes. Um, I yeah. believe that did not happen. I already happen. had that from the beginning. I distinctly yeah. remember that. Exactly. Yeah, it's 10,000 oh. more gold. Yeah, sorry, it wasn't, it wasn't 10,000, it was 20,000, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, damn it, you're right. <laughs> uh, no. Um, always half numbers. <laughs> Definitely so, had 420. As I recall, <laughs> at the end, you, um, I believe the this the small gentleman, who is now human, um, <laughs> and everyone, everyone can see he's very small for a human, but he's a human, uh, <laughs> holding his tankard. Well, not anymore, because you and... Um, uh, of it. Oh, he, did he telepathically communicate with all of us? So yeah, the last thing you all heard him say, or well, you all heard him say, um, was "hmm, friends," um, in your native tongues, um, it, and I think the last thing Tilda said was something like "hmm, neat trick," uh, mm. or something along those lines. Anyway, yeah. um, and that's kind of where we ended, I believe. Um, the only question I have is, is did anyone actually take because I have I didn't sit and listen to all of the the audio from last time shock horror um, terrible Jim. I'm terrible <laughs> I'm awful um, I'm not the tasty kind you listen to last night Why are you trying to sleep? I did I put it on I was, it was my sleep aid for last <laughs> night I was like I'll just try and absorb it through osmosis <laughs> Um, did it work? No. <laughs> um, so no, I was going to ask: Did anyone actually? Did anyone take? I know you took the dagger off the. I've got the dagger got and the, the dagger. box on me. Just and now. the box on you. Okay, cool. Um, I have a sudden yeah. urge to take the skeleton. Did <laughs> yes. Go for I it. Want to take like a single. Can um, I take like a single bone? Did anyone just take the bone. their pin or just their brooch even or just did we did we leave? Oh, that did they have a brooch as well? So they did. Yes. I feel like I was leaving that in case we got like Shoris back so she could steal stuff because yeah. she seems to be the one that wants to steal stuff. I am... Um, I will just... Oh, my character sheet is literally how I want to steal things. I would <laughs> like to take a singular bone to know. <laughs> a finger or something? Okay. Um... Like a lucky foot, maybe? Ah, yeah. But that's, that's like, that's loads of... <sighs> Yeah. Well, we're gonna. So I'll I'll, I'll say I'll say Charles's character, Leannon, um, has uh, has taken the brooch and whatever various other things aren't on that person's person. Um, until Charles says otherwise. Um, were their clothes fancier than my clothes? No, they were not fancy. Good. They were fancy, but nothing nothing uh, compared to your. Um, they're probably more scrubby they compared, like, compared to you. Fur. 
Uh, I mean, your fur is great Ron's and all, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's great. So yes, um, <laughs> we 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 kind of I guess we fade back in with the with you saying the nice trick. Um, we're back in the thing, back back in the room, as it were. He's quoting me now. Yeah, that's it. Yep. I don't know. I think Tilda just stands around, and uh, again, she's got like her fingers like slightly moving with a bit of arcane energy, just in case this is another fight. But she's not the first. She's not like a strike first type person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, until later sessions where I contradict that because I want to live. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what about what about um, Ovek? He just um, had this small. Well, you've heard the the voice of this small. Um, man saying, hmm, friends in giantish, I believe. Is you... Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, without without, without just... actually seeing him say it, uh, I think was the, the key point there. Have... In, uh, in giantish, I'm just going to say, where'd that portal go? Um, I assume you're pointing at the one behind behind him. Yeah. I think the, the man would turn around and go, hmm, I imagine somewhere unpleasant. Hmm. He says okay. that. He, he says that just out loud in in uh, common. So, to clarify, he spoke to all of us in our own native language using like one go. Yes. Uh, kind. Of, I'm assuming it was telepathic, or it sounded like it was audible. It sounded. Like, did he it actually sounded, like move his mouth? He did speak? not move his mouth, but it was cool. audible in the. Like through the air, as opposed to in your head, if that makes sense. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, insofar as fantasy games make sense, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, then uh, they spoke in giantish. I don't think I speak giantish. I do not. So that sucks. So he speaks in common back. Yep. So everyone hears him. He just cool. turns around and says, "I imagine uh, somewhere unpleasant." And we can see his mouth move now. And you can see his mouth move. He's just talking normally now. He just flexes on us. That's it, yep. Mm. He's just showing off. <laughs> how's how's um how's Gorm feeling <laughs> right now? Gorm thinks that he'd like to communicate with this person telepathically. But he doesn't know how. <laughs> I love the idea that you think that, because wouldn't that happen then? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel I like that's how telepathy works, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um... So, see no evil, hear no evil, think no evil. Like, <laughs> <laughs> probably ask him if he knows the whereabouts of any furries. See if he understands what that means okay are you trying to say this in your are are furries a thing in this world Mm, (laughs) that's a good question though (laughs) i think that remains to be seen might be like what the fuck is that probably more common honestly isn't it would it though considering other races are literal dead tabaxis (laughs) yeah i guess okay so that's a bit grim (laughs) we wear fursuits um, so are you, tra- Wait, are you trying to reach out with your mind there, or is is are you yeah, just saying that? Yeah. Uh, just you know, giving it a shot because why not? Okay, cool. So you just um, well, well, talk me through it. What what kind of goes through your head? Are you just like going, oh, I wish I could telepathically talk to this person, or um, yeah, because I, I when obviously I heard it over the air, but I knew something was strange. Yeah, maybe you got like a I'm wee bit a new... of like a. Men sort of a feeling of the weird thing. Yeah, you you, ha- you kind of have a weird, like, natural sense of magic, even though you have no idea what it is. You've you've got this, like, maybe other sense that's been awoken or awakened. I imagine I probably, like, every child wishes they had telepathic powers and you know, trying to pull things with their mind and stuff. I'd probably give it a go. Yeah. Just cause, whether it works or not. Cool. Is that exactly what you say? <laughs> What, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the 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 small the the small man kind of peer round, Ovek, um, tr- 
trying to kind of um I like I size you up sort of look at you um hmm. and he would just um I think he would just walk around Ovik um to about there and uh kind of just look you in the eye lack of opportunity <laughs> he didn't leave your <laughs> melee range <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> um yeah he would just kind of stare you in the eye and um uh put 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 a hand on your shoulder um <laughs> that pause pause yeah. yes <laughs> and um he would just Sorry, smile at you just like step round as well just to be emotionally there for this cat pause for effect and mm-hmm. um, yeah he would just pause kind of, for thought. yeah he would he would just smile at you and then um kind of pat you on the shoulder turn back round again um how tall is the cat? In my head, I don't know whether it's realistic, but I'm probably about. I'm I'm am smaller than you and Ovik, but I'm quite chunky, you know. Quite... Because I think all of us are. I think everyone's Ovic. smaller. He's what like... seven foot nine or something. Something like that, yeah. I can't remember exactly. Probably be around six, 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 nine, something like that. So, and what height's the little guy who's seven touching the little guy? <laughs> He's, he's... I just really I have this really comedic visual in my head of this little guy tapping you in the shoulder, but you know, climbing up that rock that's next to him to do it. Yeah, he's definitely standing on he's standing on a boulder. He's he's about he's mm-hmm. about five two, um, ish, give or take. Um, he says he's five two uh, to his friends, you know, mm-hmm. but really he's like we canvassed for that information. Yeah. yeah. Um. You just see him in a, in, a, in a pub talking to his friends. Like, oh yeah, this is my friend, uh, and he's, uh, you know, this is my this is my five one friend. He's like, I'm actually five two. Um, <clears throat> Picturing Danny DeVito. For some yeah. Um, so yeah, he's standing on this rock to kind of um, just kind of put his hand on your shoulder, as close to your shoulder as possible. Um, and then he just like yeah, taps you, just kind of smacks your your shoulder a little bit, and um, gets off his rock, and just kind of says to everyone, yes. You all seem very capable. And he just like walks back this way. Does he smell nice? Uh he smells very <laughs> alcoholic. Nice. Wow. <laughs> 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 and then I think like he says you're all very capable in common, so we can all understand, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll just say back to him, uh, how did you find yourself here, if you don't mind sharing your tail? Hmm. I say staring at the tail next to me. <laughs> um, he just turns around, um, and he... Wiggles tail. <clears throat> he says, well, I came here because uh, you were here. What? No, I meant how did you get here, not why are you here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I um, and then he would like turn around and he starts doing um, you know that uh thing from that movie that's definitely not getting ripped off in this um and creates a creates a portal. I've got you covered. You've got me There's covered. Yeah, already prepared. There it is. <laughs> exactly that. And um, this this um. It's blue though. <laughs> this blue portal kind of appears um, here. I don't have gifts for that. Sorry, it has to be orange. Sorry, it's fine. The gift can be orange. It doesn't go for blue. I'll color correct <laughs> it. It's like, fine. Just change your water settings. But like just a slightly different shade that is not close enough to be copyright infringing. Yeah. It um it actually it's like the the circle goes the opposite direction. Um. Yeah. Ah right yeah. yeah. Right, Anti clockwise. Anti clockwise. Off. Um, yeah. yeah. Let me and just yeah, mirror my screen. It just it just appears here. Um, <laughs> wax on, wax off. And then obviously he gestures to his beautiful circle. Can he... we see anything through the circle? Um, no. It currently it's just a thing of light, and then as he stops, um, stops doing it, it disappears again. Um, you got gifts for everything. Holy shit! I think oh. he's just. Been, I think that's <laughs> he's just been saving him. Um, that's what I did for the week. I just went. And... Made a gift collection. 
That's fair. I should have played this, and it just talks through minor illusion, the spell. It just makes images, literally speaks in GIFs. Um, right, so if he makes the portal in, it vanishes again. Yeah. Uh, out of green energy. Uh, can I roll Arcana to, like, try and suss out the, anything about the spell? Such as, is he evil as shit? Can I do that, even if it is evil? <laughs> uh, you, you certainly can. <laughs> um. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Arcana. 13. It's respectable. That's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, from that, yeah, from, based off his magic, like, you, you couldn't really discern whether or not he was evil or good. It seems to be... There was no, like, cutting a baby's throat along the way. Yeah, this wasn't, you know? like, he didn't, like, set this up by sacrificing 14 virgins and two two children, mm -hmm. you know. Um, what if I've been doing okay. all this for then? I mean, given the overpopulation crisis, that would be considered a good thing for the, the world. But anyway, <laughs> carry on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ewan, um, Ovek sees the small man make shiny thing. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll point at it and say, where'd that go? That goes back to my employer. And you uh, Monsieur, what anywhere? is your name? Uh, sorry, what was that means? Monsieur, what is your name? My name. I am Tokjar. From the top shelf. From the Talk top jar. shelf. Talk jar. You're a talking jar? Yeah, I am a talking jar. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, he goes, I, I am Talk jar. What would I roll to know anything about that name, if anything, about that name? Um, for example, is it religiously significant? It, if religion is it like? I'm going to say I'm going to say it's significant not significant history? at all. But you can you can cool. roll if you want to. I, I mean, okay. if there if there's no reason to roll, I don't mind. There's not. there's, there's no if real I can reason learn to something roll. from it. Um, if I can learn anything, I will. But like, is there like a do I recognize the culture of the, um, the name? Yeah, you'd example? say it's definitely from your 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 world. Um, it's kind of okay. from the, the the jar part is um, kind of uh, from the sort of is more eastern than it would be western, um, in your cool. in your world. What do I roll to see if he's lying? Insight, Insight <laughs> I believe. <laughs> are, are you wanting to do that? You can do that. I am. My name's actually Speak Jar. Right <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> Open Jar. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Let's all talk about that slightly open door. Carry on. <laughs> Ten. Ah. Um, from what you can tell, he's he's being very honest with you. To be honest. So, would I? Honest, to be honest. To be honest. To be honest. Hmm. Would I be able to tell if he's? Trying to like trick us. It's literally, I think, what the that's, insight rule is. I think for. that's basically what the insight right. um, uh, But, like, yeah, at that. I thought it was about like, yeah, okay. Um, when he says um, employer, he would kind of move move the, the kind of um, collar of his, his kind of robe, um, not robe, <laughs> his, his coat type thing, and um, it would mm -hmm. have a, a silver pin of the dragon eating a turtle. So he's showing us, that, he's showing that off, really. He's yeah, like he's just, bling. he's going up. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> like, like I'll hold up the dagger, like as if reading it. I go, he wouldn't happen to be L H, would he? Lajar. I think, I think, um, Lajar. I think he would look at you and just ignore you, um, and go, kind of give you a weird look and go, hmm, and just go, it must be talking to them about something or other. As in, like, he's ignoring me? Not, not like, ignoring, but he's, like, he's looking at you and then from what, like, trying to process the words that you said and then going, it must be something to do with the rest of the party. Kind of look on his face. Ah, so he just he doesn't respond yeah. to that. Do you know who the body is? And I, like, like, motion with, like, the dagger in hand just back towards the the coffin. Body? I it's guess not coffin, but you get what I mean. He's just waving his dagger off. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's still in its sheath, I assume, but like, I motion up to there, and then it's like, yes, there's a lovely body up there. 
I think he would, he would chuckle, chuckle at that um, go, <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a body described as lovely before um, and she just she just like puts both of her hands in like motions to herself hmm. <laughs> took me a second to get that <laughs> it took me a second to get that as well <laughs> um, yeah he was I'm an elf I do this sexy as fuck <laughs> he laughs he laughs very heartily and he goes what um, just starts heading out towards and he was like where's where's this body you you speak of yeah, and I think we can, like, I don't know, maybe I'll cut, like, so I'll hoop my arm, like, low down near my, my hip, so he can put his arm through. Yeah, he does. And, then, um, and he, he, <laughs> yeah. he follows and you we'll, up uh, to, to... Yeah, we'll wander off. Yeah, we'll go up here. I'm going to follow. Whoop, whoop, um, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, the fuck? And then, yeah, like, we'll obviously take the safe route. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think he walks right through the, the circle here, and... Um, with with all right. If that case, I guess I would let go. Maybe. Yeah, he he'll like yes, unlink with you as you start to walk out towards the side. Can, he... can you just sort of put him just inside the circle right now? Yeah, sure. Because as he does that, I'm gonna be like, "We what?" And he's just gonna walk through. How can you move? <laughs> as as he does that, can I just step into it slightly behind him? Yeah. So as you okay. like step, are you like stepping in, stepping in, or are you just like sticking a foot in, or? No, I'm stepping in. Stepping in, okay. You feel an immense amount of pressure. Um, <laughs> can you make a con save? I think I said what it was last time. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Um, you feel you feel like the the same amount of pressure um as it was before. Um, I was prepared for it. But you, yeah, you're you're prepared for it, and um, you know what? You're the edges. It was weaker at the edges as well, so you 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 definitely feel the pressure. Um, he just kind of storms off think... right through it. When that happens, I think I just sigh slowly and then just say, Dig Dog Leo, you're needed, and then walk around and continue <laughs> my plans for this dude. I'm not going to pull him out, not with my strength. <laughs> Can I do a medicine check on the body to see if there's any like signs of how it died? Giant sword stuck out of yeah, his Yeah, by all means. Um... <laughs> well, maybe poison. I just turn around and grab Dig's leg and try and pull myself out. Does he not follow up now? Come on, dude. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I, was, I was kind of looking at you uh, and stuff. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, must be AFK. What's your medicine? <laughs> your medicine check? Okay, cool. <laughs> With that, uh, you... You kind of... Uh, kind of go over the body a wee bit. There's no... No, like, physical wounds. Um... Or anything other than maybe a few bruises from... It looks like he was hastily just thrown into the the sort of um, casket here. Um, you can see kind of um, handling bruises. Um, uh, like... Handling, handling bruises? bruises. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, sort <laughs> of his like... Handles? His handles are bruised. <laughs> um, you know, you can see kind of uh, grip grip marks, bruises like on his on his limbs and like on his shoulders and stuff. Um, but um, from what you can tell, he's died from some sort of internal um affair, uh, probably poison or uh. I think I turn to it you then and say, "What do your half elven eyes see?" <laughs> see, his bruises were made post mortem. He was likely uh, thrown in with some hate. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Poor fellow, says the says um the talk shop. Says talk jar. Says talk jar. Do you says, not recognize him? I can't say I've seen this man before in my life. And I think he turns yeah, around and uh, um. I think he would he would turn turn and look at you um and he say, what what this pin and he would flash it again in your face. <laughs> I would probably show myself from the outrageous display of wealth and uh, nod in agreement. Tilda, maybe you should take the pin from the body. I think we said that. Uh, oh, Leanne oh, right. yeah. had it. Um, right. but like we motion to Leannon in the narrative to show that we have the pin we spoke of, uh, like the generation did, cool. and then um, we're all good. As Leannon kind of goes through her, 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 her 
like bag or whatever she she put it um she can't seem to actually find it anywhere mm. um and she's all embarrassed is it back on the, 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 the back is it back in the coffin <laughs> um i mean if you check yeah you don't you don't find it on the i don't have emu didn't find it anyway while he was uh examining the body i'm assuming you were fairly thorough um nice sniff his brooch to see if it's the same one like if it smells of Leanna. Uh, do, do, well, I'm gonna see. What would you What would you roll for that? Perception. <laughs> Perception. Yes. Thank you, mm. Ronnie. Um. Okay. You can perceive really things through smells. <laughs> this is true. It's just another sense. Mm -hmm. Take dog, but it just left. Four. Mm. Lechery twenty. Mm. Um. Well done. That's very good. Um, from the smell of it, you can't you can't really smell Leannon off it, like as if you know if Leannon was holding something, you'd smell that she was. Like, you can't mm. smell that, but you can smell what you do smell off it is this kind of weird off smell. Um, it's uh, it, it's kind of like this sort of like old rusty metallic smell. Um, even though there's there's no rust like it. blood yeah kind of like that 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 um stale blood smell i got really disconcerting really quick um is it the same smell and i'm asking purely for mangy's check so mangy obviously has all these thoughts um is it does it smell like it came off a corpse uh it does not know okay Thanks, Mangy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the uh, yeah, I think a uh, talk would kind of turn round to kind of walk back down the stairs and uh, suppose Dig Dog Leo standing where he is. Um, so like, as he goes to like move away, then I'm, I reply. Or I, I sort of reply. I say to him, "So you don't know the the former living?" I think he would. He would like turn like pretty sharply and say I've never seen him before in my life and kind of asked. stare you but did you know them I can't say that I do because you won't say I do not <laughs> Happy Easter, everyone! Uh, <laughs> I can, I, I, I can try and intimidate him into telling us things. He's obviously very strong. Oh well, yeah, he just fucking walk through like a thing on top of him. Okay, fair enough. Um, right I mean, right. you can, you can, you can do what you want. Um, but if you're not going to do that, angry. I think he's going to, he's just going to say to everyone, um, "Let us." I, I think his expression would relax quite a bit as well. Um. He was obviously a bit, um, uh, kind of, seeming a bit tense, and he, I think he noticed that he's kind of forgotten himself a little bit, and he said, "Let us." Be remember him. Leave this place. Nay. May I pass, good sir? You may. I'm getting pretty pissed off being stuck in this circle, by the way. Uh, it's a, it's you a, got it's a out, teaching moment. You and I said you weren't suppressed. Oh, did I get out? All right. Yeah, you no. clutched onto my foot and I dragged you out. All right. And you know, with your <laughs> your save that. of whatever you had, twenty something. Hmm. What was it? Fair enough. All yeah, right. you were you were fine with that. Um, so yeah, um, he to, would kind of turn to, to you, Dick Doglio, and um, kind of he would say, and "What? What? Uh, on what do they call you?" I am Dick Doglio Smithington. Hmm. Dick Doglio. You seem excellent. And he would just move down. Um, kind of. I think this time he would walk around the, the circle. Um, to there. And um, he would start, you know, creating his portal. Um, over here. Um, and he was like... Cool. Can I just roll another arcana just to keep in it, like to just take kinda... it as much yeah, as yeah. magic as possible? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. It might be terrible, but I just want to keep the thematic going. 
Yeah. Cool. Consistently okay. Consistently okay. Yeah. <laughs> you again. It's. Um, I know it's magic. It's definitely magic, <laughs> and it seems like it's just you know a magic of this world. It's you know, it's not not like oh, some crazy. weird crazy magic that you you couldn't comprehend or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Tilda, do you believe it to be safe? I think it just when you said that to me, I look around the room really slowly, like with a, like one kind of arc of my head, and then turn back and go. Safer than here, most likely. I was going to look down a little bit and say you first. Um, yeah, so the portal kind of fully creates itself. I haven't got a... What's this? I just Ooh, that's not a portal. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the necromancer! <laughs> Ooh, okay, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> and he jumps through um, the portal and disappears. Does, does the right. portal disappear as he goes through it? No, it's still there. See you on the other side. I just gently nod in agreement. And then motion my hand to the portal. T. Drum roll, where are we going to end up? That's a good question. Uh... Obviously, I run up to the portal and then just like jump through backwards, flipping the bird off to the the tomb we're in. <laughs> um, that is fair. Um, so yeah, you appear in. Oh wait, no, I haven't moved you. Oh, flip sakes. <laughs> um, it's okay. It gets a bit like it takes a bit of getting used to. It does. Ooh, cool. This is pretty. Also, yeah, I found this art and I really like it, so that's why that's why it's mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, you kind of appear in this sort of like alleyway of a of a of um a town somewhere, um, and the talks standing there, um, and uh, as you all kind of come through one by one, he goes, ah, good, you did decide to come, um, and then he kind of walks down, uh, into. So how big was this portal? How big was this portal? Yeah, did I have to like crawl through it? Or... Uh, you definitely had to duck, <laughs> duck your head. Imagine oh, Gandalf going through a hobbit hole. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Like it, like Gandalf going into um. Hobbiton. Into thingy. Bree. Into into Bree. Yes. Um. Where is this? Blue tab. Cog. Blue tab cog. Yep. Aha. Uh, oh, there we go. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, please, please bear with us while we do all this technical nonsense. Uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> talk kind of walks down the 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 alley into like the main town and you you just see him curse under his breath. Um god damn it. Uh god damn it maybe. Um <laughs> uh, and he he kinda looks and goes, um terribly sorry, we seem to be in the the wrong place. Uh um I, do I recognize where we are? Um yeah if you if you go down the the like to towards like the, the town part of the alleyway, you're at a dead end dead end. So if you go like down the alleyway into the town, you see there's a sign that says um Merchton. And is that a place that I That is a place you know of. World. It's a place I in your world. Just been moved to another you world. haven't been cool. moved to another world. This this is a place in your world. It's a it's a wee town. You've given us all the fear. Yes. <laughs> it's a wee town to like the I definitely have southwest. It anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's it called? Merchton. Merchton. Hold on, hold on. Bear with me. Here we go. <laughs> oh, merch, man. Ooh. Um. I prefer it when you don't show me the spelling because I can actually just guess it and get it completely wrong. Yeah, I thought it was merchant. I was doing M E R C H T O W N. Yeah, so that was exactly what I did. <laughs> Um, so yeah. you see there are a lot of or one really big merch. Yep. It's a really heavy t- merch. Some know? some yeah. heavy merch. 
all the merch. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, to be fair, it's a town, so it's actually a really light town. Um, but it's only a ton. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's the... a merch baby unit of. It just starts floating into the air. That's it. <laughs> like a killer ton. <laughs> yeah. <A> merch ton. <laughs> Uh, like a fuck ton. <laughs> yeah, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> metric Met- fuck ton of merch. Yeah. <laughs> say, metric merch ton. Yeah, okay. So, I recognise it. I wouldn't instantly panic that I've been kidnapped from my reality. From your reality to another reality, yeah. Um, mm. I, don't, I don't know how... Because uh, obviously, Ovek and uh, Gorm uh, have no... I just trust the uh, wizard... The... That everybody else that's there isn't freaking out that we're in an all right place. Okay, yeah. Um, Mangi? I think after my commune with um, Gaia, I'd be more accepting of things being weird, but I think I'd be highly intrigued by all the goings on of everything from the most mundane to yeah. the actual um, interesting. And yeah, from from what you can all sort of tell, Merchton, Merchton I keep calling it Merchton now. <laughs> Merchton, um seems to be let's say not a well off place. Um there's like a few few kind of shops about, but it's 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 pretty um dreary looking. See the people here? Yes. Are they mixed or is it like primarily a certain type of people? Do we stand out like a sore thumb? Um I think Ovex stands out quite a lot. Um they're definitely all human or human-ish um, people. In this world as well, the elves, are elves common? Elves are common. Um, maybe not in places like this because it's a bit dingy. Um, so yeah, you definitely seem to be drawing a wee bit of attention to yourselves. Um, so much tabaxi discrimination? <laughs> well, you don't see any other sort of animal people. Um, I see a dog. <laughs> that is not a dog people. <laughs> that is wow. dogs are not a dog. people. people. I think I think Cats the dog people. would start uh yeah, there there is a dog. Uh, and it would just kinda of start barking at you. Um I protect the dog. Good, good, good. Um I hide behind Tilda. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, so talk would say, uh crap f- no, this is not where I want wanted to be. Um and he goes to try and make another um, portal, but nothing seems to be happening. It's just kind of like a wee bit of sparks appear a little bit, uh, and then nothing happens. Are you exhausted, Tokshar? Perhaps you need to rest longly. I think he would turn around and <laughs> look at you and kind of take in your, your um, <laughs> elvenness, I guess. Uh, I assume you're elf, because of course you are. I'm an elf, yeah. Yes. Um, I'm a bald elf, but I keep my hood up so that people don't okay. judge me. Even um, though I'm fancy as fuck. Literally just the art. Check out this baldy. Like, if Tilda Swinton in that movie wearing that outfit was an elf, that's yeah. me. <laughs> I think... Um, what movie? <laughs> he, would, uh, he would point at Digdoglio. Um, oh. Digdoglio, sir. Yes. Find me a place of resting, and he would uh, kind of lean up against a wall, uh, and he takes out a, a book from his, his bag and starts um, flicking through it. I turn to Dick Ugly and just sort of watch him to see if he actually obeys this little man's orders. And what um, what's the book cover? Uh, it's blank. Um, it's like a sort of leather bound, just like kind of blank uh, book. Okay. I think I just well, turn around to Emu and just stare at Emu, looking mildly concerned about everything that's happened so far, and then say nothing. <laughs> I'd like to start performing in the street. Oh god. oh god. By popular demand. By popular demand. Oh heck, here we go. remember when we created our character? Oh my god, um, oh my I'm... god. Right, okay. <laughs> So, oh, fuck's sakes. Well, at least you're sorted then. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to animate it. It's just me in the background playing the bagpipes with a tip box. 
Okay, so well, okay. What, what am I allowed to do? Something here. <laughs> um, You're just muttering about your fey ancestry. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saved from being charmed by my bagpipes. <laughs> um, I think we have an adequate gift. Yeah. And um, while while you kind of think on that, Diggy, um, the I think uh, yeah, you you do you literally just like walk across. Um, the street, no shame whatsoever. Um, wh- whap out your bagpipes. Um, I think you go down a little bit and you find like just outside and in, uh, and start mm. um, and just start piping. Um, I think initially. Do I need to roll anything. Do you have a bagpipe? Yes, he has bagpipes. Oh. Hmm. Um. So do we are bagpipes common in this world as well as the one he's from? Uh, I'd imagine they probably are. They're found all over our world. I say bagpipes. They're like essentially bagpipes. Um, you know, it's like you blow up air into a, a bag and noise comes out. Um, when it has Wait, pipes on pipes? it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just have like a paper bag. Just a paper bag. Type your bench link in the corner. Um, but you know, yes, in this world. Um, ah, he plays the pipes bag. He plays the pipes bag. Um, the Pepsi bags. He plays the blow bag. Um, he plays the tube sack. The tube sack. Oh, wow. <laughs> like the bag and the tube sack are very different things. My yes. Friend. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you start, and I think people initially seem a bit weirded out and kind of disgusted by this peculiar cat man playing the bagpipes um but i, I think you 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 attract a small crowd of um of uh, some some folk who seem to be getting into you and they're clapping along with your with your playing very badly at a time um where's the performance check performance check yeah let's see what how do well I, you do is that it's in your that's, skills. That's a charisma save, buddy. It's not a save. Let me roll again. A plus uh, five. Please. <laughs> no, 12, 12 <laughs> fine, 12 <laughs> fine. Yeah, you get a small, you get a small crowd. Um, people clapping along. Did they get a hat was... they could put down? <laughs> um, so yeah, Dig Dog Leo. Um, where you at? Yeah, right. Well, I've I've been told to find a resting place, so I'm just going to do a flat 180 from you guys and walk in the opposite direction to see if I can find a tavern. Okay. Do you do you follow the the tabaxi or do you go a, a different way or? Uh, I, I'll, I'm going to go a different way. Okay. Well, I'm I'm outside an inn apparently. <clears throat> I'm going to sort of grunt in his general direction and sigh at him for actually obeying this dude's orders. <laughs> um, what... well, he asked me nicely. <laughs> yeah, it was more like a request, yeah. right? No, it wasn't. It was a fucking demand. I mean, he did I say... I get had different rules about how to understand things we understand. Um, yes, I'm not very intelligent, uh, half or I just like to steal things. That's fair. Um, I think uh, what you what you end up doing is you end up going into, like, the the sort of um, kind of heart of the, the sort of merch district. Um, <laughs> and it says that. There's a sign that says merch. Um... Uh, and uh, you go through merch, 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 merch. <laughs> um, there's like merch, merch's merch gift shop. Um, and there's the the sort of emporium of Merchton. Um, Do the people of Merch ban people? You know, like could you be you know banned from Merch at all? Do you know what? Yes, you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, for bag pipes, of course. A piping bag, yes. Um, yeah, but they all seem like simple folk. Um, yeah, so you, you go past like there's a, like a few like um, sort of it, like a, equipment shops. Thank there's you. a smithy. Um, there's some the various theories. other. other um... hmm. Okay. You definitely don't find an inn. I think there's there's only one inn in Merchton. Okay, well, fair enough. Well, while I'm in this markety place, is there any bread I can steal from a stand? I've got a real hankering for some bread. Yes, there is bread you can steal from a stand. Um, do you want to give me your necessary bread stealing? 
bro. <laughs> also, oh, are you in? Legend. What armor are you in? Oh, right now, I actually have no idea. I think we had this conversation uh, last time too. Yeah, well, at the very yeah. start in the first in. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really important question, okay? <laughs> How, where does it tell me where my armor is then? And your inventory the list. <clears throat> middle of the, of the core page. Very appropriate, it's in the inventory. Next year, <laughs> gold. Oh, uh, bio. That's not telling me anything. Oh, right, it's my golden shit. Um, I, I think dark common clothes at the minute. Keep reading down, it will be in that list somewhere. You'll have some armor. That's what we'd have armor. So do you some like chain armor. mail, leather armor, scale mail? The proficiency, is that it? No, it's in, the, it's in the actual inventory part. What? Okay, how do I know if something's equipped then, in my inventory? Click on yeah, it. See if you hit, yeah, I was going to say, if you hit the I next to it, um, to expand it, but you still need to find oh. it. Oh, yeah, it's uh, dark common clothes I've got equipped. No, you definitely should have armor in, what? I don't even know what class you are. Ah, uh, barbarian. It's a barbarian. Oh, you might not actually. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, you might not, because um, it would be listed yeah. there. Um, if it was like it would be like I think the only ones you get like what, padded armor, leather armor, studded armor, hide, chain, scale, breast, half plate, blah, blah blah. But yeah, you might just not if you're a barbarian. So yeah, you might be right. Yeah, but I've, I've only got dark common clothes. There you go then. I was gonna say I'd expect it to be chain, leather, or. Play, um, scale. To well, I guess right. they're too angry for armor, right? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm trying to go kind of a path of a thief here as well. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A thief really? barbarian. I would never have guessed. Yeah. I could do two things. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right. carry on. Jack of two. So yes. Master. Um. Do you want to give me your 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 rollages? Uh yeah. What what, what would be the relevant? Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Ooh. Okay, um, I think you 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 kind of say you. I think you've been eyeing up this bread for a while. Like you walked past. I think you'd like walked past the bread, and you're like, "Oh, this bread's nice." Um, and then you carried on looking for an inn, didn't find an inn, and then came back. Um, <laughs> no, wait, <that's> nice. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> what's so pretty what... much all I did was I walked past the bread stand and took a free sample. No, you walk past the bread. You come back. You go. Mm, okay, I'm gonna get get this bread, and you wait kind of for the baker to be, to be turned around. And as you're reaching out for the bread, you pick it up, um, and you you solidly think you've gotten away with it. Um, what what are you, what are you thinking to yourself as you kind of hear the, the sort of stop thief, in the background? <laughs> uh... Give me your before, during, and after thoughts. Um, give me give me your thought process of this whole. <laughs> Scenario. How far away is he from us at the moment? Could we hear that stop thief? Um, if you haven't left the the main part you're in, you would probably hear it as like a distant over shout. Over the bagpipes. No, no, over the bagpipes. No, no actually. Not. Yeah, that's a good okay. point. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I may have Sorry, forgotten guys. about the the volume of bagpipes, but <laughs> yes, I, like I appreciate that. the performance. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I'll probably be just um, doing some like footwork, you know, with my hands clasped behind my back, just in front of you, just to try and attract more of a crowd <laughs> as well. And just gentle, like pacing up and down. Are, are, you, you, wanting to, are you wanting to do a fireball. performance check for me as well, please? Or... I really don't. You, no. don't. you don't have to. Um, but, like, I, I mean, I will for I comedic should. effect, um... but I, I don't want to. It's because it's got like a minus three. Oh, wow, yeah. you got plus That's not bad. Um, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I, I feel like, though, that could roll again with the advantage of his bagpipes, though. It's do you know what? Do you know Whether what? you feel that way. J just for, yes, sure, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's going to be worse, isn't it? Four. Fifteen. Nope. Oh, sure, oh, yeah, you, you better. better the, than my playing. Yeah, the two of you kind of <laughs> managed to gather quite a good crowd. Um, do you both want to roll like a... Uh, say a, a D one hundred. Sure. Um, Dig Doglio. This one. Yes. Right. Uh. So before, you know, walk past the bread. Ooh, shit, really. Smells lovely. Smells lovely. 
Depends if it's damage we take. It might be good rolls. <laughs> well, <laughs> D100s <laughs> aren't <laughs> usually for... I'll see that baker turn around to uh, take something out of the oven, or put something into the oven. I uh, grab hold of the bread, uh, turn on my heel, and re well, go to, po go to pocket the bread, and I hear, Stop, thief! Yes, yes, you do. So after, I uh, very much so set in panic, and I just sort of throw the bread back at her and run in the opposite direction. Okay, cool. Uh, as you do, um, you you kind of hear. Do you want to give a a, a running roll? <laughs> uh, athletics. Uh, athletics. I, hang on, that skill isn't ticked in the box. Does it matter? No, that just means if you're proficient in it or not. Ah, it just means you get a worse roll. Thirteen. Wait, okay. A barbarian that doesn't. Matter. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, you can be angry and live. This is true. Yeah, true. Um, so yeah, uh, you you kind of you kind of hoof it down the um, sort of merch, uh, merch, merch ant merch area. city. Um, uh, the merch area. You pass you pass the little ant city, um, <laughs> and uh, you 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 keep you keep running back, and I think you get to like the main square. Um, well, not the main square where you where you previously were, where you're seeing a. I was running a circle Tilda and Gorm, the and ended up back there. Yeah, Tilda and Gorm are, you know, playing the bagpipes and stuff. Um, do you do you do anything, say anything, as you kind of get back to, to where you were? Or? Well, I'm pretty much going to be very paranoid looking behind me, see if there's anyone chasing me. There, is, you, there is quite a few people chasing you at this point now. There's quite a few people chasing me. Okay, well, because there's an inn near where they are, can I dive into the inn? Like, it's that uh, silly speeds. Yeah, because there's not an here, is there? Yeah, well, they're right outside and in playing bagpipes and dancing. Okay, well, can I pretty much run into the inn at full speed? Okay. Does we just see like through the behind the crowd that we've got? So gathered, yeah, you're gonna have to. This orc bull. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to like fight through some of the crowd to to get to the inn. Um, as you do, people are like, "Stop shoving!" Um, see, we've built you cover. You can hide now. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're getting like they're that getting pretty even, pretty into your jams. Um, <laughs> is this the inn? Uh, sure, in my head, this is the inn. Um, but <laughs> this is well, li literally, is literally, this is just this is just art to set. This. Okay. This is not like an accurate okay, well, map. I just want to know this if I'm is next the, to the door. <laughs> oh, it's a dog. Um, yeah. I know. Do you want to do, you wanna do like right. a strength something? Um, check. Oh, this, is this for barging through. Just for pu pushing through. Go for Athletics, it. Athletics then. Athletics. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, if you're fishing, it could just be. Yeah, oh. you kind of knock knock over like one or two people, and they all start to fall like dominoes. Um, I think <laughs> I think a, a few people, a few people kind of um, bash. Well, not bash, but nearly kind of fall into you, Tilda. Okay. You are um, so effective. So just just you knocked everyone's to the ground. work just out of the way, as if it was deliberate, Denson. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, um, it it doesn't. I'm gonna. I'm just. I'll go off your your last performance thing as opposed to making you roll or whatever. But it it doesn't look you know fantastic. But it's like yeah, it's, it looks. Oh, deliberate. I don't really care about impressing people yeah. at that point. If folk of if half the crowds fell yeah. over, I'm but it looks it looks away from the cascade. <laughs> um, and Igdoglu, you barge into the inn. Uh, what's what's Emu doing? Um, just trying to stay out of the way of people. And the performance, not not a big fan of crowds, and just That's like fair. being able to see, but you know, slightly, slightly down. <laughs> um, so I think from where you are, you probably see all all of this happen. Um, what's what what do you? How do you feel about this? <laughs> Can I just try and um, follow into the uh, into the t the tavern? Yeah, by all means. Um, I think as you do. Uh, talk could kind of just follow you um kind of i think you would no noticeably kind of looking you up and down and um just kind of watching you as you you kind of just head towards the tower and um, <laughs> that's fine um and he would just follow you in and as he kind of passes tilda and gorm i think he gives you both just a a kindly nod um mm -hmm. and then we nod back. oh we i nod back yes uh, and then me and the voices not back. I serenade him with the bagpipes. <laughs> I think I think he winces slightly, um, but like 
maybe tries to mask it a little bit. Um, <laughs> he casts vicious mock. Yeah, and he. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you also uh, Tilda and Gorm see like uh, there's a couple of what you assume to be sort of town guards. They kind of look like they don't look kitted out to be guards. So like a local militia. Yeah, um, sort of like these. This is the, the the town watch is basically a volunteer. <laughs> Of some mm. of the some of the people, um, a couple of them just come running down, um, and they're screaming, "Thief! You have violated uh, the law!" <laughs> <laughs> seeing uh, Dick Dogley run into this tavern and a bunch of people following him, I'm just going to sort of stand up, stand next to the door, sort of like a bouncer. Okay, just trying to look intimidating. Stop so people mate, entering after them. <laughs> I think yeah. um, I think they would they would um, <laughs> a, a couple there's I think there were about three of them and a couple of them would approach approach the door and be like uh, um kind of look at your hulking frame say Can I roll you, <laughs> and just say um, uh, we're 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 looking for a uh, a, a strange looking gentle gentle person. Uh, who ran this this way? He's just it's kind of strange. staring at you. Okay, I'm just gonna say, there's nobody gone in here. Well, I'm. I think the the second guy would kind of pipe up and was like, "Oh, d- we definitely saw him run run in into into this here." We'd, we'd, d- d- I just sort of put my hammer on the ground and sort of kneel down, so I'm like right in front of his face and said, "There's no one gone in here." Right in his face. <laughs> That's obstruction of 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 lawful. Uh, I think. Do you, do you want to roll intimidation? See. <laughs> yeah. Um. Both these guys are pretty pretty freaked by. I I don't think they get many giantish type people. Do I look like I give a damn? Um. No, sir. Have have a. Have, safe safe travels. Uh, and they would. I think the the third guy would walk up to the performers and say, "I hope you've got a uh, a permit for uh, performance." <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, and um, the the other two um, kind of just start to walk away. Can I lie and roll a deception to say that I do, but you, I don't need to show it? You certainly can try. <laughs> <laughs> can I help as well? You certainly can oh, help. Yeah. Does that mean I cool. roll advantage? Yeah, you roll again. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Yeah. They, they. He goes. Oh. Okay. Let's say. Uh, I think. I think you just say it with such confidence and and gusto. So yeah. You? Like as he said. Like. What is it um, you actually say to them? Because I think whatever you say, I'm just going to add, why else would we be out here? You know, while I'm jigging yeah. away. <laughs> do you think I do this for fun? Yeah. Playing, I'm dancing, adding... jigging in the street? Why else would we be here? Be here? Hmm. I think... Morale officers, officers. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the, the, the officer, the, 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 sort of the, the guy would just nod at you and go, as you were. I think they would cost toss, uh, uh, like maybe a couple of coins. Are any of them particularly way. good looking? Or <laughs> <laughs> I think I think yeah. I think some of them. I think they would be but does one if look like they would dance with me. If I could, um, like, if I could bring, like, you know, you know, like when you're at like a like a big kind of family do thing, and then people come over when they're dancing and pull you up and just dance and then dance you off to somewhere else. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, like, I think I'll just take one of them. The one that's like, oh yeah, as you like the one that like replied to us and said like seemed kind of on board with the fact that we bluffed our way past yeah. that. And then um, I'll jig with him for like a couple of revolutions, and then he can. Yeah, I think I think you'd be doing that as as he sort of like starts to turn away. Maybe you you kind of link up with him and start thinking, and he goes, oh oh oh, oh okay yeah yeah ha yeah. <laughs> Like the visuals for like my dancing as well is very like Tai Chi movements, but like with a bit more enthusiasm. I think he kind of like stumbles about a bit as you're you're swinging oh, yeah. him around there because he's got he's got like he's no idea. What... I'm kind of using him as like the stripper pole. 
while okay, he stumble, yeah, yeah. stumbles around, and I'll Tai Chi dance sexily around him. Cool. <laughs> you know, in the Fellowship, when they push Sam into Rosie, mm -hmm. like Kaylee, and then he just like mm -hmm. gets whisked away. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yep, for sure. Um, and I think he would like. I think he'd leave sort of blushing and. Um... I'll smile and wave gently at him as well, because and... I want the law to be on like, the good side of us just now, instead of the potential war crimes we were about to commit against the city. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I stole a loaf of bread! <laughs> and then Merchton was weird. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so yeah. He sort of, yeah, he just sort of um, goes off smile and he gives like a, a sort of fond wave back at you um, as he rejoins his, his compadres who are a bit more nice. shaken up than he is. Mm. Probably jealous, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very. <laughs> Extremely. As, like, <laughs> as that happens, walk away, I'll just stop on the spot, turn to a... Why can I never remember your character's name? What is your character's name? Yumi. Thank you. Gorm. Oh, Gorm. Gorm. You can call me Blue if you want. Can I turn around in there? But would it, have you told me your name is Blue, though? I don't think you have. Well, um, hmm. yeah. So, like, I think I'll turn to you and say, we should probably rejoin the others inside. And then I walk in and then just pat um, Trollum Ovik on, like, the bicep as if yes. come in with us, you know. I let those two enter first and follow in behind them. Oh, Did we make much money? Love it. Oh yeah, so that D100 was your money rolls. Yay! Okay. Nice. Is that gold, silver? <laughs> Copper. Um, no, yeah, gold. <laughs> nice. Gold? What? I'm going to write that down. Yeah. These people, rich city. Yeah, rich city, but 25. slummy rich city. Yeah, see? Slummy yeah, it's the merch ton, of, obviously. The merch ton. You don't need to look wealthy. Otherwise, Clearly you get robbed. people in, around this area are like swimming and platinum for this to be like so groggy. That's valid. No, yeah. I think you probably had you... most of the time, uh, mm -hmm. like <coughs> witnessing your thingy with with your with your dancing with with the added dance. That's what really kind of. So I'll just alter my gold count in my thingy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. It's the kind of weird figure of eight looking coin. They do actually say like GP and all that next to them, but it's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> GP. See that. I have reference. 3D print. I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel now. It's like belaying everybody. <laughs> oh, you can buy the first round. Then. Oh, I don't drink. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, yeah. So you, you go into go into the tavern. There's, I, I guess, there's like yeah, not very many people in it. Um, I don't. Wait, is, is this a simple assignment just now? Yeah, the one you ran into. We were jigging outside, so we've all come in to try and catch it. With... What guess. sort of time is it really? wow. in the of day? Uh, it was probably about noonish. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, I'd, I'd like when they come into the tavern bit, they see me sat at the bar with four cold beers and a glass of water. Well, didn't uh, Thingy run in? Didn't he go in first? What's his face? Tor talk jar. He was uh, after. No, after. So as as this like um as Dig Doglio ran in, um and Emu went in, he just followed Emu into the. Into the yeah. and then obviously that's when Ovex stood in front of the door. Yeah, that's so yeah. I mean. Maybe maybe yeah. what we'll do is then is if we as we'll kind of <coughs> just go back in time a little bit to when Emu goes in. Um, there's Dig Doglio kind of just at the bar um, and talks kind of followed you in. Um, do you what what would what do you sort of do, um, Emu, as you walk in? Ah, me too. Bean? Beans? Emu. Emu. Yep, sorry. Push the talk. Yep. Oh. Um, I... I think just sort of, you know, internally massively cringing about the um, performance outside and just, like, the thought of crowds gathering. So just, like, you know, walk to a, a fairly quiet table and sit down. Yeah, okay. I think Talk would um, follow you and kind of sit directly across from you. Um, I don't think he says anything to you, he just kind of looks at you and he, he smiles and goes back to his book, um, unless you say anything to him. No, I deliberately don't make eye contact with him. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> um, and then obviously Tilda and uh, Gorm walk in. Yeah. I've just come up with a new personal goal as well. It's to uh, get Emu to willingly dance with Tilda at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I'll work on that. Um, the ship is getting stronger. <laughs> and I think um, as Ovex sort of closes the door behind him as you walk in, I assume you close the door behind you as you walk in. Um, I just let it swing closed. Yeah. It's Ovex it's not fancy do. like with a swing door. You'd have to close the door yourself. Um, I just pull it and let it close itself. Cool. Um, as you all walk in, I think I think maybe. Do you want to? Do you want to? Ah, oh, no, you don't need to. Um, you can hear a little bit of like commotion outside as the the door swings open again, and um, a fair few people kind of come in and start heading towards Tilda and Gorm. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I think I turn around with a very like warm like smile, um, and wait to see what happens. <laughs> okay, uh, Ovet Gorm, do you want? Uh, do you do anything, or do you sort of let this crowd amass towards? I'm just gonna you? go stand by Tilda and wait for her lead. Okay. I'm gonna keep this like I'm heading to where the bar is, slightly away from where I spotted like where our people are. Uh huh. Um, Okay, if, if the crowd of people have just come in behind uh, Tildren and Gorm there, I'm going to fucking get up and start booking it and looking for a back exit to this place. Okay. Um, you kind of, from like a quick kind of scan of the building, that seems to be the only door in or out. There's kind of the, you see the, the steps to the cellar behind the bar. Um, you think, oh, maybe that'll be a, I think that okay, might be. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to, Dive into the cellar and hide in a barrow if there is. See, one. on your way there, can like I catch your attention in some way? Like if you're even because if you've looked over at the crowd and you've obviously like jumped up from your seat and ran like towards an exit, can I try and catch your attention? I don't care if I do or not. I just want to see if I, I could because okay, I want to make case, sure that you don't just like bolt away. Okay, in that case, I'm I'm going to uh, pop you a cheeky wink and d d sprint. But look, as if I do catch your attention, I'm gonna obviously make a very obvious piece of body language that says you're you're good, you don't this this isn't you in danger, this isn't you. Oh, <laughs> However I can convey that. that visually to you, like because I feel like if we've worked together before, which I think we have because you're not okay. from a different world. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I know you're a risk. <laughs> Based on and I have just accepted it with time, you know, you see the world a different way than I. You see things as yours. So, okay, I'll do that. Whether or not you still do what you do, that's up to you. But I definitely try and be like, you don't need to run. This is for us, okay. not you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I'll come screeching to a top uh, stop, almost falling over. My eye contact with you. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I'll sit back down. <laughs> and then, like my smile does that really polite. I'm in public office. Turn back to the yeah. crowd. Yes. Um, yes. And yes. I think uh, <laughs> a, a few of the the crowds people. Um, like I think, like the nominated sort of like spokesperson for the small crowd, um, reluctantly kind of walks up to you and goes, uh, "That that was that was incredible. Uh, are you are you in town for long? Are you what's 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 your name? What's your have you got a have you got a YouTube channel? Have you got... <laughs> yeah. I turned to um, obviously a uh, Gorm and a smile. I put like a hand out. Like, kind of hover over your shoulder because I don't want to touch you without consent. And then oh, I turn cool. around and then, um, like, more more in a kind of showing you off than touching. Um, you know, like, put my hand around the back of you like a salesman. And then I, I say, we're in town for as long as we can afford to stay here. And smile, really. Um, like, Shit-eating grin style, as yeah. if I take the hint, folks. <laughs> I think, uh, I think the, the, the bar, the 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 bartender behind the bar, obviously behind the bar, <laughs> uh, the bar the the innkeeper, um, over here under the bar under the bar, <laughs> from within <laughs> the bar, um, <laughs> the bar itself spoke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the 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 sort of the the, the owner kind of comes up to you, seeing you know there's a lot of people in his bar, and he's. Maybe not used to this. Maybe at this time of year. Um, especially. If he's walking up, and is he close enough to talk to without them hearing? 
Uh, yeah, he's on the other side of the bar, but he's like he's like kind of heading cool. towards you. Can I ask for free lodging for me and my friends, so long as I perform each night and so on? You certainly can. You are thinking the same as me. <laughs> um, do you want to do you want to ask that? Like, do you want to word that as your character? Oh, look. <laughs> um, wordy word. I think he'd come my up. My plan to you was say. just to say. So I'm gonna. Like, I'm going to try and assist him in whatever way possible. So whatever he says in a second, I'm just going to add in, we appear to be good for business, and just smile really politely. Um, and I'll attack that one to whatever a Gorm says. Um, I'll let Ryan speak. Uh, nothing's coming to mind for me. For me right That's now. fine. Well, if, if, you don't, if you don't say anything, I think um, he'll come up to you uh, with, like, the two of you. Um... You're sat this on the bar, yeah. I think I'm just standing to get the crowd yeah. to come in. That's, um, that's I think polite, he would kind of lean over the bar and say, "Oh, what's what's uh, going on here then?" And I'll lean in and say, "Well, we appear to be good for business." Hmm, definitely. And then I motion I... to the crowd. I assume he heard what I said to them saying, well, "Yeah," because I was he, quite he loud. He heard that part, yeah. And, and I think he said, mm -hmm. "We've got um, we have a few spare rooms upstairs. Uh, I'm sure." And my friends, and I just stretch an arm out to gesture to the folks in the corner. I think his, I think his, I think like if you do like a big sweeping like arm thing, I think his eyes widen as he kind of stares at the crowd. Um, mm -hmm. And I motion specifically to, and <laughs> those three people. So my my big sweeping arm blocks the crowd, and then I point with my other hand to all the specific people I want. And I think I mean, I'm standing right next to you. So. Yeah, I think. Um, uh, yeah, I think he would kind of sigh with a bit of relief and kind of uh, dab his forehead with uh, with his his cloth and go Did I uh, shigal my fur as much as possible to get it puffed up and take a big bow and say British Gorm bagpipe extraordinaire at thy service uh, and I think I think um, the, 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 the innkeeper would kind of snap his fingers and this kind of um, serving girl would like, hey, kind of walk up <laughs> hey you're pretty cute um, and he'd say <laughs> <laughs> Come on, gal, get get some signage on the go, and she'd kind of grab like the the little chalkboard thing and kind of write British Gorm, maybe misspelling it slightly. <laughs> um, exclusive to merch turn in, um, and then they go. Uh, how how long can are 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 they they they, they staying? I mean, I just um, I guess I smile and kind of look over everyone realizing we have not discussed this at all and says it will be at least a week if possible i maybe shorter maybe longer but we will do our best to keep your um seats warm i think he says oh, it doesn't matter don't 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 bother with that and she just runs out with the, the little um billboard and puts it outside um and he uh, he kind of gives you he tosses a, a key uh, a couple keys to your room, um, and he kind of looks ah, at keys. <laughs> yeah, the keys. <laughs> uh, these are these are uh, for your rooms upstairs. You'll find them. Uh, I, I want might... phobia. <laughs> and I think he say... looks up at Ovek. Um, yeah. And I think he says we might not have bedding suitable for your. Security? I look up at Ovek and then I look back at the innkeeper and look back up at Ovek and back at the innkeeper. And I go. <laughs> and like I narrow my eyes slightly to looking at Ovek in case I'm just about to offend him. So I take the dodge action and then I <laughs> turn back to the innkeeper and say, Do you have a warm, empty stable? Or a base with say. enough room. For I'm just, I'm very sure, I'm sure we can we can sort something out. Maybe the the, the cellar. Uh, um, You're fucking Sue, asking for it. Sue, uh, make make some suitable bedding in the the, the cellar for for our uh, huge guest. I'm just gonna sit down on one of the chairs. It probably breaks under my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> but it only breaks like one leg, kind of falls off. So, do you want to do like a deck save like, to see if you? Oh, fuck. 
the slowest uh. breaking chair in the world. <laughs> you you sit on it, the the rear the rear leg sort of breaks and you start to extremely slowly fall to the ground. <laughs> And you land Extremely on the ground. Slow, like it's like matrix slow. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> you did this on purpose slow, like but you definitely didn't. <laughs> You're killing, when I hit the ground, it's like a fucking big bang. <laughs> like, yeah. Holy shit. Um so if we uh, I think Emu um I think having the RPGs. probably sat in silence uh for a wee bit with talk, I assume. Um, mm-hmm. I think I think he would eventually just snap his book shut and kind of look at you and say I don't think I got your name Mademoiselle Uxo Ah it's quite a quite an interesting name yeah Yes I am I am talk Talk jar. I know you said, but uh, pleasantries, you know. And he hand, he puts his puts his hand out for a shake. I, I, I kind of give him a look, but I I do shake his hand. Okay. Um, he's got a very firm grip. Um. But uh, and he he just says, "The pleasure is all mine." And he, he kind of. Can, just can I say to him in gnomish? Um, how is it that you are able to understand us all? I think he would reply in gnomish, and he, he, uh, he, his lips are moving. By the way, this, this is not um, like the weird magic thing from earlier. Um, he would just say, "I'm a well-travelled fellow, and perhaps older than Indeed. my face suggests." And he would chuckle. Um, can I interest you in a in a drink? Uh, no, thank you. I'm sure uh, Tilda, however, would be happy to take up on your offer. Uh, I think at that point he goes, hmm, shame, and he pulls out uh, a tankard from his bag and pours <laughs> from a bottle um, that he had in his, his, his little little bag. And he just sits and uh, stuff. And I think he, um, at this point, I think the crowd's starting to kind of... Um, stop fussing over Tilda and Gorm, unless uh, Tilda and Gorm want to um, kind of well, announce yeah, like, themselves I mean, I to I the crowd. To know no, I just, I just want to just take time and like shake everyone's hand and actually like get their names and stuff and try and commit as much of it to memory as possible. It's not very good social distancing. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> luckily, we haven't been told there's a massive plague outbreak yet. Yes, true. not yet. Uh, I think <laughs> I think then... Uh, um... I am the virus. I think there'll be. Oh. <laughs> I think what will happen is the the sort of innkeeper will kind of announce to everyone. Ah yes, uh, deal on you know meal and a beer, for you know. Mm-hmm. F- five five silver pieces and a copper for my trouble. Um, <laughs> can I yeah. can uh, I step up to the bar and say since you don't have any big beds, have you got any big plates or or mugs of beer? Um, I think he he just goes down into the cellar and or he gets he gets um, one of his one of his helping helping folk to go down to the cellar and take a keg up for you. Fridge. Very good. Um cuz he's he was I think he frantically kind of looks for for a suitable sized um <laughs> drinking receptacle but then uh, See if he's looking around. Can I see a bucket anywhere I can nod to because it would probably suit, right? As long yeah. as he washed out. Uh, there's probably uh, there's probably the a bucket um Maybe you see into like the the sort of back room, and there's like a, a mop and bucket uh, out the back. Um, that you can um, I get think... a flip a lid. <laughs> um... If he brings me that bucket, I'm gonna just like throw it across the room. I mean, to be fair, right? It's gonna hold a lot more than a mug will. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think if you nod to, to it, he'll he'll kind of <laughs> nod at you and run and kind of like rinse out the the bucket and um, run over and start pouring into it. Um, I'm just gonna grab it out of his hand and crush it. Yeah, yep, yeah, you do that. And he goes, "Oh, um, I'll just, I'll, I'll just, I'll just get a barrel." And he runs downstairs and or he sends someone to get a barrel for you. 
Um, I think I'll look up at Ovec then, and I'll put like my hand on his like forearm, and as you're like, I guess I would say leaning on the bar loosely because I don't know how much you want to break his bar. And I'll be like, that was quite rude. The man is trying to accommodate us. I just look down at him, say, I am no animal, and then I glance at um, Gorm. I think I also just run him a glance at Gorman and back at uh, all and says, I'm and then stop acting like one. I, I really like the image walk away. of um, <laughs> everyone glancing at, um, at Gorm and Gorm's, you know, cat cleaning himself. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, like I definitely say, like, uh, then stop acting like one. Double tap, like, you're, uh, like reassuringly your forearm, and I think I'll go back to greeting that crowd. Yeah, to get I think... Um... Whatever he does, primarily in town, because I want to know what the town can do for yeah, us. Yeah, I think what, what... What did I do when I was away? We just stared at you for a bit. Yeah. Mm. I like just legit. said I like the image of people uh, <laughs> staring at you, and then you you start cleaning yourself. Um, but that's obviously up to you. <laughs> um, I, I agree fully with it. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think um, after the the innkeeper sort of given everyone that sort of deal, they've all kind of gone in their little groups to um, maybe some tables and stuff and spread themselves out, so you can kind of go round. You have the opportunity to kind mm-hmm. of go round and. Talk so to the them. bar is filling up then, Callum. Yes. It's it's reasonably full now. Yeah. Okay, I think well, I that... tried to get everybody seated. I did help them to a table. Yeah. And then the scene. And your name is, oh, it's you. And you, what do you do in town? Okay, I think you would like these people. Go speak to, like, she's a seamstress. Go speak to her or whatever. Yeah. Just, again, trying to, like, play host, weirdly. Yes. For, only to get the information of whoever it is. Yeah. Um, and you do, you kind of learn um, basically all there is to know about Merch Town within, you can you kind of, um, you know who all the, the best map, best yeah. people mm-hmm. um, to to get. Can your... I just ask general questions to learn about this world? Because I don't know anything. I just know it's a different place. You certainly can, I'm sure. Um, whether or not the the people of Merchton are that well versed in the worldly events and where things are geographically is. I guess luck of the draw, but I suppose things like um, does it rain upwards are... here? No. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's just <laughs> basic stupid questions that like a four-year-old would ask. Yeah. The world. It's like the sun rises in the the, the west. The, the... Is there well, two that... suns? <laughs> maybe that scene then is I'll walk back once everybody's seated to get my obviously the tea that I clearly would have ordered. Um, yes. And a uh, maybe I'll just walk up to a uh, Gorm and say, "Tag, you're it." You should go mingle if we're going to be here for some time. Yeah. I'm just going to take my keg and uh, walk outside, sit on a barrel outside, and just watch the people go by whilst, whilst drinking this keg. You're a real dancer. Well, I'm going <laughs> to set up a little game of dragon chess in the corner. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, of course you are. Dragon got a hustle. Got chess. a hustle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who's got parchment? I'll start writing the apology letters now. Well, I have parchment, actually. I think in parchment. Perfect. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, uh, you, you do. You kind of set up and, like, maybe maybe there's a sort of table um, in in the corner, like a wee small circular table in the corner um, that you kind of pull out away from the wall and you, you kind of just set up your, your set. Um, what's... what's is, is it quite a nice dragon chess set or is it just kind of like a one that you just keep in your bag it just gets thrown around it's not gonna steal a crap one <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> it, 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 well it, i don't know if this is it's... like his dragon chess set or just one you've acquired <laughs> over the... i think it's... we all know the answer <laughs> it's, it's, it's not stolen one, one piece it's... from each and he's been in <laughs> Oh, that'd be it's awesome not... actually like one you stole from every other person oh yeah that's with. brilliant <laughs> that's really cool <laughs> actually yeah all, all the pieces are different from mm-hmm. different dragons. <laughs> just missing a couple of pieces because not quite got there yet. Maybe maybe you were at like the like the sort of dragon chess um like international tournament world championship. World championship. Anytime somebody beats him at chess, he'll steal a piece from him because that's you know. Yeah, he want to and be it's sure like um, please be one that's side dragon, one side turtle. So it's turtle versus turtle. That's cool. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> turtle v dragons. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on, I'm writing down. I'm writing down. That's right, a right, tough right, one because right. I, lo- I love dragons and turtles. So this is a tough one. <laughs> Turtle dragon chess. Dragon chess. 
Okay, brilliant. Um, <laughs> Turtle v Dragon Chess. <laughs> brilliant <laughs> yeah so i think you get like a, a couple people who are like oh I, I, is, is you know the table open can i can i can i join um i've, I've clicked on it and it says you need to, value right what's the attribute yeah. so you need to pick what stat that you're using um for that so it would be like is it a performance of some kind it'd be charisma if it is a like if you're trying to like cheat somebody, I guess it would be dexterity, right? I don't know. Okay. It depends how you describe how you're playing. If you're shoving the piece through the board, it would be strength, I guess. You know? Okay, strength. I, I, I kind of like to come off here a bit violent. Okay, um, I think I think you play a, 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 a few people, um, and like even though like they probably could have won, um, a lot of them just feel very pressured and just concede like halfway through so do I, do I win any wagers with this uh sure roll roll a, a d50 do you know how to do it because I can teach you I'll ask it Good cool time. you get uh 38 copper pieces cool what was that silver again <laughs> <laughs> what was that 40 400 yes <laughs> Thirty-eight thousand. yes yes that's what it was <laughs> so i think um at this point uh talk would kind of wave over at whoever isn't doing the mingling um to try and like catch their eye um <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll be sitting dr or standing at the bar drinking my tea. Yeah, um, I'm happy to be waved over. If, <laughs> I think no, if I, I think he'd wave at you and then probably walk over towards you and maybe um, kind of sit on a stool uh, next to you okay. at the bar. I think as he stands up, he would look at Emu uh, and kind of motion uh, as if do you, you want to come along, sort of thing. Um, I reluctantly I, I get up and follow. Okay. Um, and he, he stuffs the his book back into his, his bag. Um, and yeah, he he sits down to so maybe on the right side of uh, Tilda. Um, and yeah, I think he orders um just a drink and maybe a pie. I don't know, beer and a pie. I think then if Emu walks up as well, then I'll offer the chair I'm standing at. Because I don't intend to sit. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just stand for this. And I'll stand like in the middle of the two of them, if you will. A slightly one step back. So we've all got a nice wee cosy triangle. Can I say, once I've finished my keg, I'm going to start being so grumpy and come back inside and just sort of sit cross-legged on the floor next to everyone. Cool. Uh, kind of at the bar where um, Tilda and yeah. um, the gear are sitting. Cool. Uh, I think uh, once like the majority of you are kind of sitting there, um, I don't know if Dig Dog Wheel's too engrossed in, in Dragon Chess or not. Or uh, no, I'm I'm sat in the corner, fucking playing away, just smashing up the board with dragons. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just entertaining. You know, marrying. Cool. Yeah, I think you're learn. You're stuff. you're sort of learn. You get maybe some of the questions you ask seem really weird, but they were so enamored with your, the fact that oh the the, the famous British Gorm is is here. Ooh, um, they kind of just answer your questions anyway. Um. And you know you kind of get like basic stuff about the world, and you notice it's not too dissimilar um, to your own. Maybe minus certain certain aspects, um, you know, technology and things. They have no KFC. Um, but obviously you you, you make. Oh, we should open a KFC. That's that's your mission from now. <laughs> K the KFC <laughs> disco party. Um. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So as uh. As maybe um, Ovek walks in, I think he he turns and sort of looks at you. Uh, talk that is not Ovek. Yeah, I don't speak for Ovek. Um, I think he would, he would say say to you, I believe you have something to give me. And he would just kind of look around the party. So, 
I obviously get what he's implying because he was flashing his brooch yes. earlier. We're waiting for a contact for the brooch, blah, blah, blah. But do I think we're being fleeced? Can I roll? You certainly insight? can. Cool. Can anyone help me roll insight? Wait, how, how do I help someone roll? You're so it's a narrative thing. If if multiple people are contributing to something, you don't do a roll for everyone. You just let one person roll with advantage, really, to say, like, two people helped. Like, I don't... Can I help him, since I've already been suspicious of him? Yeah, I think you're already really sceptical of him anyway, and especially seeing as, in your head, he was just ordering Dig Dog around, and... Yeah. Um... Also, Ovek, what is your insight? Uh, we shall see. Hold on. Probably all right. No, I just, I just need to do the stat. Uh, plus two. Yeah. Do you want to roll with advantage then? Okay. I have five. Yeah. Uh, if you want to help too, yeah. I don't really mind who helps. Just if you want to be suspicious of him, do you want to roll with advantage? All right, who's rolling? <laughs> the one with the best modifier, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Perfect. And I helped just by one behind. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think, uh, Emu, you definitely have. You don't think he's. Like, you don't think he's going, oh, I'm. He knows, obviously, that he. Ah, uh, right. Sorry. So I'll describe my, my, my thinking behind asking for those. I know it's weird because obviously he rolled and I asked for it. But, like, my thinking was has he just assumed the role of this guy yes, as an um, opportunity as opposed to. He was the one we were actually supposed to meet. Yeah. Um. What I'm. Yes. Uh, he. The vibe you get off him is that there's definitely something up. There's something fishy, and maybe that's also kind of come from how he maybe acted, kind of snappy and weird. Um. Upon mm -hmm. seeing the the dead guy, and just refusing to acknowledge him, his existence or whatever, or no acknowledging if he knew him or not. Um, so he doesn't they weren't like the pipeline, so <laughs> yeah. Um, but you don't get the you don't get the impression that he is. Um, Did the body look like him? Was it the same height? No, they were they were completely different. Oh. That's right. Um, yeah, I think th there's definitely something odd about it, but you definitely don't get the impression that it's um, that he's not the contact. Um, so he's, he's telling the truth, but not the whole truth. Yeah. Right, so definitely a weird, weird vibe. Like, Very weird we shouldn't vibe. just, like, you know, wash our socks together and shit like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, go with it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll just... I think I'll have, like, that kind of placid porcelain look on my face where I'm trying not to give any of my own thoughts away. Um, maybe I've just darted my eyes around the group to see how they're reacting mm -hmm. very briefly, but then I want to wait and see what he says, like, kind of next, because I don't really want to then say, here's your box! Yeah. I'm going to wait. Well, I've looked up for my dragon chest set with a suspicious look on my face. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, yeah, that's probably all in your shot as well. So do, are, are you... Um... Are you going to get up and like head over? Because you're you're kind of like a op almost opposite ends. Oh, okay, me. fair enough. Yep. Yeah. Um, so up, like, up, if up, you if up. you imagine you were sitting kind of at the window in the sea angling, and they're kind of at the corner of the bar. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Like that sort of sort of distance. For anyone, okay, for anyone who like um, <laughs> hasn't been to the sea angling, that means nothing. But <laughs> I apologize. Okay, well, in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly pack up the dragon chest set, throw a copper at my opponent at the time, and... Yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, I think the, the, the person you're playing kind of gives you just like a, a sort of humble nod um, and kind of goes back to their their sort of mates kind of bragging, Aha! I defeated the, the, the notorious... Whatever, whatever you might DIG. give it. <laughs> the notorious <laughs> DIG, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and you kind of like I think head that's over. That's too good to not be true. Yeah. yeah. Um. Now, British Gorm, uh, and oh, I suppose Ovek as well. Um, you have probably no idea 
uh, what he's talking about with things being given and stuff. Um, I think that's why it probably made sense that it was that as well. Like I was on my phone, so I, I actually think... still don't have any idea. I was saying, I think it makes sense that Ovec didn't then help with the role because obviously the suspicion would have been kind of in part of the the implication that he was the contact that only obviously me and Emu would have known yeah. at that particular scene. So that does make sense. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I said, I'm just gonna wait for him to like fiddle in the cool. The silence. I think he would let the the silence sort of sit uh, for a while, and then he would say. I'll sip my tea a bit. Yeah, um, and he would he would he'd probably take like a big bite of his his pie and uh, take uh, a, like a big deliberate gulp of his beer and kind of wipe his wipe his um, lips uh, and kind of look I, uh... look kind of look between everyone in the party trying to maybe f- figure out who's the who's the quote unquote leader or who would have the most importance. Um, and he says, and "We've been trying to figure that out for our entire time." Yeah, <laughs> and he, um, I think he would just say, um, "I was sent here by, <clears throat> well, not specifically here, I suppose, um, but I was sent to retrieve an item from certain party of people." Um, and again, I think he would be kind of playing with his collar and like Chicken feeling his of people, feeling his um, mm-hmm. brooch or brooch, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, if you will. You were I'd sent like to. to... Oh, sorry. No, no, you go. You were sent to uh, to receive, and we were sent to uh, deliver. But the questions remain: Why were you not where the meeting was supposed to be? And what happened to that? Uh, that. Uh, uh, incident where the entire ho- uh, building was being turned on its side. So there are questions that remain here. I think he would, um, first of all, be taken sort of aback from Emu's um, kind of maybe sudden Inquisition. burst um, of conversation. Uh, and I, I think as as you kind of kept talking, I think his eyes would darken. Um, and darken I was in... to uh, just start playing, but at a at a level that made the your conversation private, you know. Yeah, like to try and like block the sound from other people. Yeah, I'm I'm not aware of what you're doing, but I'm aware that you're having a conversation, so I start performing. Mm-hmm. So to like to distract private... the rest of the bar. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, do you want to just do it? Bob? Also, I want that sick money. That's fair. Do you want to do a <laughs> performance? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think one of your pipes are slightly out of tune, um, but I think you know, like some of the hardcore fans um, from earlier are still into it. Like they're they're pretty pissed. They're you know they've had a good few of the the beers. Um, some of them are lightweight. The performance isn't really what matters. It's just it's the... it's about the live experience at this point. Um, also, Calm, if you don't eventually give him a bagpipes of holding, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> just came into my head just now. <laughs> Hold on, let me just take a note of that. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Same so he would. Is. He would. Um, yeah. As as you kind of spoke, Emu, his um, his eyes would sort of darken, and he would. You'd see his expression kind of change from that sort of. Darken metaphorically, or like go black. As in uh, metaphorically, as in you know. Okay. Um. I'd, I'd, He's, they're not like magically just dilating mm-hmm. to pure blackness um, and he would just say unfortunate events yes but that's unimportant just now where's the box 